Hi, my name is Nivin Saleh. Today I'm taking you to Pearland, right outside of Houston. We're visiting Tuscany Village, a place where insects help heal the aged. Tuscany Village is special. It has a small garden that serves migrating monarch butterflies. It provides food for their caterpillars and a safe space to pupate. It also offers nectar for grown butterflies that travel to Mexico in the fall and Canada in the spring. The residents at Tuscany Village benefit from this garden because they get to witness the development of butterflies and to support them in their journey. Let's now meet the two women who made this Monarch Way station a reality. Dr. Amy Harkins and Delia Cuellar. I'm a gero psychologist, which means that I sit with people who are at the upper edge of our lifespan. And I listen to them and I listen to the things that they're concerned about, the things that they worry about, the things that make them afraid, the things that hurt them. And I talk with them as best as I can to help relieve that suffering. And I've been doing it for a while now. and. Many times one of the things, strategies I use in therapy is to get people to talk about their youth and when they were young. And many of those stories incorporate nature. Many of them. And when people start talking about nature, their affect changes. They become um, nostalgic and happier in their expression. They can remember the details of what plants were in their gardens and what plants they harvested at what time of year. Many of them can. And even those that grew up in the city remember seeing butterflies and being happy about it. So I was inspired to have a garden at the nursing home um, as a way to provide care for the residents. My mother is not one to participate in activities. My mother's hobby is laying in bed. <laughs> Uh, prior to her stay here, she was always in bed. I'd say, Mother, let's get up and go for a walk. No. Mother, let's go to the activity. No. Mother, let's play bingo. I hate bingo. So it was, my mother's very challenging. The impact of this garden has been remarkable. I can go to Mother now and say, let's go look at the butterflies. She says, Okay, <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. She has um, uh, short-term memory issues, so every time we go, it's a new experience, um, whether she's seeing the same caterpillars or not. And then with this garden outside, I can say, Mom, let's go outside and look at the garden, see what new flowers have bloomed. Okay, so we come out and uh, We'll sit, I'll, we'll look at the flowers, and she'll get up close and really concentrate. And here's how the garden came into being. Dr. Harkins came up to me and said how she loved the tomato plant That's that right. I'd put outside my mother's window. And that got Dr. Harkins talking about plants and how therapeutic gardening is for the aged. She went on to explain how she wanted to start a garden here. We came out here and staked out an area of where to put the butterfly garden. We thought, well, let's put it in the middle. And we thought, oh, let's put it here, there. And we felt that the residents would have more access to it if we put it close up here. We finally um, decided on 18 feet by four feet. We wanted to make this low maintenance because who's going to be able to come out here and water them on a regular basis? So went to Home Depot and put in an easy um, irrigation system using tubing with a timer that would come on every two or three days. And then we had a planting party. Most plants they put in the ground were Texas natives. This is a Texas blue sage. Right here, you see a little skipper, tiny butterfly, getting its fill of nectar. A lot of other pollinators love the little blue blossoms on here. Here we have another Texas native plant. It's called blue mist. 
it is very popular. This draws a plethora of butterflies and honeybees and wasps. This is a great um, nectar plant. Obviously, you can see the pollinators on it. Over here, we have a carpenter bee and a honeybee. In the Tuscany Village Dining Hall, Amy maintains a habitat for monarch caterpillars. Residents can stop by any time, day or night, to watch the caterpillars go to chrysalis or to look on as the chrysalis breaks and a butterfly emerges. So the chrysalis for the monarch butterfly is particularly beautiful. It is a jade color and it's got flecks of gold all over it. And it's just really, really pretty. And as the caterpillar, as the chrysalis is getting older, it will turn subtly darker. And then right before it's about to emerge, you can look inside and you'll see the beginnings of the wings. It's sort of a stained glass window effect. It's absolutely beautiful. And then when it's getting like that, don't go away, don't leave. Stay and watch the butterfly emerge. When the wings have inflated, the monarchs are ready for release. And Amy announces a release party. Here they are, everyone. And here's wow. all the beautiful babies, huh? Tell the difference between the males and the females by the markings on the butterfly's hind wing. I was sick, you know. So what I started doing was coloring. And when I would have nurses come see me, they'd say, I said, pick a picture and I'll color it for you. So this picture is for somebody named Shweta, who is a nurse here. So, and I just wrote a beautiful note to her. Thank you for your wonderful care and consideration for the aged and invalid. butterflies are released, they have no boundaries. The butterflies come, they eat, they're gone. I think some of their souls fly free with the butterflies. They can visualize themselves flying. <laughs>